Give me one defensive player on the split line. Don't need that ball. Give me one offensive player out here for me. Just one offensive player. Yep, one offensive player. Don't need that ball though. Give me one passer with that ball over there. Good job. I'm going to take your spot real quick, but you will come back here. Okay. So now, as we sort of talked about, we've done a little bit of the form, we've done a little bit of the speed, now we're going to introduce the contact, okay? So you're my offensive player, I'm the defensive player. There's no shot. All you've got to do is try and get in the key. All you need to do is get in the key weight, okay? But I'm an old man, so let's go at 50% on this, all right? You're going to make the pass, because what I want to do is I want to start it with the closeout, because we talked about how we want to close the ball out. Now you can do this drill, can I borrow this, that ball real quick? You can do the drill this way as well, where if you just want to say, hey, we're not that close out yet, we just want to keep working on one-on-one, -on -one, I can hand you the ball and now the drill starts. You can do it where, let's you and I both start on the baseline, you're still offense. So wherever I put the ball down, you've got to go get it. So start on the baseline with me, All right? So I can run out here, you've got to get this ball, and I can put it here, and now the drill starts, okay? But we're time poor, so we want to try and implement both the closeout and the one-on-one -on -one live now. So pass the ball back over. You're on the wing foul line extended. I want to be in an open stance. My philosophy is if you're one pass away, one passing lane away, be in a closed stance. That's one third off. Let's come to the top of the key for me real quick. You want to be the aggressor. One third off, hand in the passing lane where I can see ball and man. Okay? You might run a pack line defense, and that's fine as well. If you're in pack, you'll generally find yourself here in an open stance. Again, it's whatever your philosophy is, you have to implement it into your drills. You have two sessions of 90 minutes, how can you tick multiple boxes in one drill? Okay? So what is your philosophy on defense? Mine is, I want to be the aggressor, so one pass away. I'm here, I'm denying this. Adelaide, for example, if anyone watched the game last night, Adelaide are the aggressor on defense. And it's outstanding how they want to get up and try and push you as far out the three-point line as they can, okay? So I'm here in the passing lane. That's if I'm one pass away. Jump back to foul line extended for me. If I'm two or more passes away now, I want to be able to support, because right now there's a one-on-one -on -one battle happening over there. I want to encourage the one-on-one, -on -one, but I want to allow support here, okay? So I'm aware of ball and man, I don't have to commit to the ball because my teammate's got it, but I got her back if she needs it. Okay, so we clear with that. If you can't defend the ball, this is a, a real good thing for all players, but they have to at least be able to defend the ball for three dribbles, at least. Otherwise, you can't play them. And that is the line in the sand moment as a coach. Okay, I'm going to help you get better because for you to progress, on to playing for the state, work your way up to nationals, to become employable in the in industry, you have to be able to defend the ball for three drills. Just a rough rule of thumb. If you can't, everybody's going to be taking you off the bounce. So I'm in an open stance, I'm supporting my teammate, but that's my man. The pass is made. Okay? Do I, how do I want to close the ball out? And this is the, it can be as wordy as you want. We just went through it. How do I want to close the ball out? Yeah. Because I got an idea right now, she's right handed, just by she's holding the ball. So that ticks two boxes for me, because I'm going to be closing out what hand? Shooting hand. I want to close out her shooting hand. Okay? What angle do I want to cut at? Or what angle do I want to close at? Straight line or do I want to angle it? Yeah, like a little banana cut. So I'm here, the ball, the flight. As I start to make my way, I'm taking away the right drive. Okay? I'm giving her a choice right now to say, all I'm doing is sending it left. And it's just ticking another box for me as well that I'm closing out her shooting hand. Okay? Do I want to chop my feet? No. I don't want to chop my feet. Okay, so I want to get out here as few steps as possible. And it's live, I get out here, I close out the ball. Good. And then if you go to drive, I'm sending her down the lane. Sorry, that was bad footwork by me. I'm sending her down the line, here. Okay, I want to stay connected. I don't want to open up. And if she wants to drive forward, I'm going to physically, with my body, 
keep her out of that lane. Got it? Good? Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna be your, I'll be you. I'm gonna be, I wanna give him some crap passes. All right? Ready? Good. Body up. Hold it there, good. All we're doing is we're stopping the ball from getting the keyway, and you did it, perfect. Three dribbles is your max. Give me another offensive player. You stay defense, outstanding. Give me another offensive player. Let's go ladies, not all at once. Three dribbles max, got to keep her out of the keyway. Good. Come back. Come on, you really want to get, who else? Who else can reckon they can get in the keyway? Give her a jab step. Pretend you're going to go baseline, then go middle. Ready? Oh yeah! Great job, perfect. So you guys see it? So even with the jab step, and even I gave you fair warning of it, the ball carrier wants to go middle, we didn't open up. Instead, we kept with that angle, working left to right, and we send her up to the half court. Okay, so then she has to go wide and angle around on that. 